Large predator attacks on humans are rare yet terrifying, but not all predators attack humans for the same reasons. Some predators attack humans because they see us as a threat, some attack out of curiosity or because they feel cornered, and in some very rare cases, predators attack humans because they see us as potential prey. The reason behind an attack can affect how vicious the attack is, and it also affects the chance of the attack being fatal. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at some of the stats behind large predator attacks on humans, and I'll be ranking some of the world's deadliest predators based on their fatality rate when attacking humans. There are often many strange factors that can affect these statistics, and I'm sure the first entry will surprise some people. The great white shark has an infamous reputation around the world, and this is mostly due to how it's depicted in popular media. Films such as Jaws have led to people living in fear of this giant fish, but the attacks that inspired the film might not have involved a great white. Some of the Jersey Shore attacks of 1916 occurred miles inland, and it's not typical great white behaviour to head up rivers. This has led many experts to believe that the bull shark was much more likely to be responsible, but we'll get to that predator a little later on in the video. The great white is one of the three species of shark that are responsible for the most attacks on humans, with the great white being responsible for the most reported attacks worldwide. Surprisingly, there are far more survivors of great white attacks than fatalities, and there are a few reasons behind this. Despite what some people like to believe, there's not one definitive reason why great whites attack humans. Some do attack humans out of mistaken identity, especially when visibility is very poor, and sometimes they bite out of curiosity as this is the main way they interact with the world. Because they have no limbs, they learn about things by biting them, and this is part of the reason why most attacks aren't fatal. We are definitely not the desired prey for a great white shark, and this is often why they don't go in for a second bite, and they sometimes reject the body parts that they have bitten off. Of course, there are some rogue, predatory attacks, and juvenile sharks are more likely to bite humans because of lack of experience. Humans often swim within meters of great whites without even noticing, and most great whites will simply ignore humans and move on to more conventional prey. Because great whites are so large, they are more than capable of killing humans if they wish to, but thankfully they only have a fatality rate of around 17% when attacking humans. This means that the fearsome great white slots in at number 10, but it's important to remember that we kill around 100 million sharks each year, so really we humans are the real monsters. The Komodo dragon is the largest lizard alive today, and it's the apex predator in its ecosystem. This predator once called Australia home, but today it's only found on a few Indonesian islands, and it's currently listed as endangered. Their main threat comes in the form of habitat loss, and as they are a potential threat to human life and because their body parts are worth a lot on the black market, they are poached in some areas across their range. The Komodo dragon does have an advantage that none of the other predators on this list have, and that's that it has toxic venom. For years, it was believed that Komodo dragons had septic bacteria in their mouths that would help them to bring down their prey, but today we now know that Komodo dragons and other monitor lizards are mildly venomous. One bite alone is not enough to kill its prey, and instead it usually causes blood loss, a decrease in blood pressure and shock, which helps to weaken its victims. Thankfully, Komodo dragon attacks on humans are extremely rare, and most tour guides and locals are able to keep them away with a long stick. Not all attacks on humans are predatory, as some large adults will attack when they feel threatened or when they feel that their territory is being invaded. It's rare for these giants to even come into contact with humans in the wild, and their relationship with humans is mostly peaceful. If they do choose to attack you and you're caught off guard, they are more than capable of taking a human life, and they have a fatality rate of around 20%. This means that the Komodo dragon is fit for number 9, and this isn't bad for the king of the lizards. The bull shark is one of the most intriguing sharks in the world, and this is mostly due to their strange behaviours and habits. Unlike most other marine sharks, they have been known to travel hundreds of miles upriver, and I'm sure this behaviour has given more than a few people heart attacks over the years. Yeah, we'll 
they have been recorded as far as 700 miles up rivers, with one specimen being caught in Illinois in 1995. These sharks are most common around coastal warm waters, and this is part of the reason why they are involved in the vast majority of near-shore shark attacks. They are opportunistic feeders and will target a wide variety of creatures, and this might be part of the reason why they are more likely to attack humans than other sharks. Even though they are smaller than the other two deadliest sharks, they make up for this lack of size with an incredible bite force, and they have an extremely muscular and powerful build. Their unpredictability and their love for shallow water means that they are more likely to come into contact with humans, and around 22% of bull shark attacks on humans are fatal. This means that the bull shark slots in at number 8, and for our next predator we'll be heading somewhere a lot colder. The polar bear is the largest species of bear in the world, with the largest specimen on record weighing 1 metric ton. They are one of the few predators that see humans directly as a food source, and a large number of polar bear attacks on humans are predatory. Thankfully, because of the polar bear's unforgiving natural habitat, interactions with humans are rare, and people who live in areas where polar bears roam are aware of the danger. Polar bears are hyper carnivores, and they feed on animals many times their own size. Beluga whales and walruses are sometimes on the menu, so an unprepared human is a relatively easy meal. Famously, bears are very protective of their young, and female bears protecting their cubs make up a large portion of recorded attacks. Sick or starving males are likely to attack humans if they come into contact with them, but there are a few preventative measures in place to keep them away from populated areas. Problem bears are sometimes kept in polar bear jail until they can be relocated, and most people in areas with polar bears have firearms to keep them safe. Despite this, there have been a few tragedies over the years, but the polar bear's fatality rate is not as high as most people think. Polar bears have a fatality rate of around 27% when attacking humans, but this could rise in the future as polar bears are forced to head further south in search of food. This means that the polar bear slots in at number 7, and hopefully predatory attacks will become even rarer in the future. Tiger sharks can be found in tropical and temperate waters worldwide, and they are known for feeding on pretty much anything that they come across. They have garnered the nickname of Trash Can of the Ocean, as license plates, fishing gear, tires and plastic have been found in their stomachs, and they are known to be very inquisitive and they will bite almost anything they bump into. A strange number of terrestrial animals have been found in their stomachs, and they have even helped to solve a murder mystery in Australia. This trigger-happy behaviour is one of the main reasons why they are more likely to bite humans than other sharks, but if you're aware of their presence, they can usually be pushed away. You'll often see footage of divers calmly pushing tiger sharks away from their bodies, and usually the tiger sharks will peacefully swim away. If they aren't pushed away, it's possible that they could try and experimentally bite the diver, and this could prove to be fatal. Of course, some tiger shark attacks are predatory, and as they are a very large species, they have little to fear in their ecosystem apart from orcas and sometimes humans. Around 31% of tiger shark attacks on humans are fatal, and this is a lot higher than the other two deadliest sharks in the world. Thankfully, they are less likely to attack humans than the other two sharks, but their fatality rate means that they slot in at number 6. The leopard is one of the most successful big cats in the world, being found over large parts of Africa and Asia. They are often found in ecosystems with much larger and more powerful predators, but they still manage to compete and thrive. Leopards are masters of stealth and they are extremely elusive, and they can remain hidden from predators and prey alike if they wish to. They can differ greatly in size and shape across their range, and in some locations you can even find melanistic leopards. They feed on a wide variety of creatures in their ecosystem, including some potentially dangerous animals such as baboons, wildebeest and even cheetahs. They are incredibly powerful for their size, and in some very rare cases, they will even attack humans. The vast majority of leopard attacks on humans occur in India, and human wildlife conflict and human encroachment are some of the main reasons behind this. Leopards are far more likely to attack women and children, and as they are so stealthy, they aren't usually spotted until it's too late. 
Even though attacks are still very rare, when they do attack, they have a fatality rate of around 33%, and they demand respect wherever they are found. The leopard slots in at a respectable number 5 on this list, and the fatality rates from here on out are about to take a big jump. The saltwater crocodile is the largest crocodile in the world, and they are usually found in the brackish and coastal waters of Southeast Asia and Australia. There is no doubt that saltwater crocodiles see humans as a food source, and you should never get anywhere near the water if saltwater crocs have been spotted. They will hunt creatures much larger and more dangerous than humans, including water buffaloes and bull sharks. They are hyper carnivorous apex predators, and they will view anything that enters the water as potential prey. Out of all the crocodilians, the saltwater croc and one other croc that we'll get to a little later on in the video are most likely to treat humans as prey, but strangely, fatal attacks in Australia are rare. Around a thousand people are killed by crocodiles worldwide each year, but only one or two people are killed by saltwater crocs in Australia each year. This is mostly due to awareness and crocodile management, but attacks are far more likely in South and Southeast Asia. Crocodiles are ambush predators and they can move at great speed for short periods of time, and they can be almost impossible to spot in muddy, murky waters. Attacks are more common in areas where their natural prey is scarce, and they are much more likely to attack after heavy rain. If you're attacked by a saltwater croc, it's pretty much like flipping a coin, as around 50% of saltwater crocodile attacks are fatal. If they grab a hold of you and you're anywhere near the water, then you stand little chance of living, but some manage to escape with some nasty injuries. This fatality rate slots the saltwater crocodile in at number 4, and for our next animal, we'll be heading back on land. The lion is an apex and keystone predator, and it can be found in parts of Africa and India. Lions are famously sexually dimorphic, with the males being much larger and having a large thick mane. Even though the males are larger, the females do most of the hunting, and they have one major advantage over other cats. Lions are the only wild cats to live in large social groups, and they usually work together to take down their prey. This means that they can take down incredibly large prey animals, and they have the numbers and power to steal meals from most other African predators. They have quite a few enemies in their ecosystem, including the previously featured leopards and hyenas. Groups of hyenas will sometimes claim the lives of solitary lions, and they'll sometimes fall prey to crocodiles too. Lion attacks on humans are relatively rare, but there have been a few famous man-eaters over the years. The Savo man-eaters are arguably the most famous examples, but as I've covered in previous videos, there was something strange about these lions. One of the lions had a severely damaged tooth, which could have compromised its ability to hunt its regular prey. Rinderpest was also wiping out large numbers of their usual prey, and the lions had started to eat dead slaves at the Savo River crossing. Even though attacks are relatively rare, they are responsible for more attacks than most other large land predators, with an estimated 250 people falling victim to lions each year. Because they are such powerful animals and because they work in groups, they have a very high fatality rate, with around 62% of attacks on humans being fatal. This means that the lion is fit for third place, and for our next predator, we can stay in Africa. The Nile crocodile is the second largest crocodile in the world, but it's the crocodile that's responsible for the most human fatalities. It's estimated that around 200 people fall victim to this predator each year, but stats are very hard to come by as most attacks occur in remote areas. Most people are attacked when cleaning, collecting water, or fishing near the water's edge, and just like the saltwater crocodile, they are almost impossible to spot in murky waters. There have been a few famous man-eaters over the years, such as the legendary Gustav who has an almost mythical status, but tales such as this are a lot rarer nowadays. Nile crocs regularly take down animals far larger and more dangerous than humans, and they have a bite-first, think-later mentality. If you escape the jaws of one of these giants, then you can count yourself lucky, as around 63% of Nile crocodile attacks on humans are fatal. This slots the Nile crocodile in at a close number 2 on this list, but there's one predator that's slightly more lethal. Tigers are the largest and arguably deadliest big cats in the world, and wherever they are found, they are apex predators. 
They usually share their ecosystem with other dangerous predators and herbivores, and they will target all but the largest of these animals. Their striking coloration helps them to blend into their environment, and it allows them to sometimes get within just a few meters of their prey without them noticing. Tigers will attack humans if they see them as a threat or if they're protecting their cubs, but a large portion of attacks are also predatory. One of the most famous tiger attack hotspots is in the Sundarbans, and most of the attacks in this area are predatory. This area is very swampy and is full of mangroves, and the tigers are comfortable attacking on the land or in the water. Fatal attacks often lead to retaliation killings, and it's important to remember that hundreds of tigers are poached in the wild each year, and many are farmed for their parts due to demand from China. If a tiger decides to hunt you, you stand little chance, as tigers have a fatality rate of around 65%. This means that the tiger is the deadliest large predator to humans, and it's essential that you keep your wits about you in tiger country. If you think that there are any other large predators that should have made it into this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.